Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm George Connolly with Scratch Golf Tips and today uh, I just filmed myself practicing out of a bunker for a little bit so we're going to be going over what I'm working on in my bunker game and uh, just some fundamentals that can help everyone else out. Um, so let's get right into it. So to start off my bunker practice, I'm just hitting uh, pretty high trajectory shots where uh, the main focus is just impact, uh, getting maybe just uh, two to three inches behind the ball and also swinging across the ball, which is what you see me working on there. Uh, when you swing across the ball, you can get it a little bit higher in the air. And then uh, that acceleration that I can get also allows for a lot of backspin. Um, so when I say swinging across the ball, that means that for a right-handed golfer, you'd be swinging um, from out to in. So I guess you can look at it from swinging um, further away from the ball and then you come across your body. Uh, if you have an open stance, you swing across the body. And um, that just helps you get the ball higher, it hit the ball a little bit higher trajectory-wise. And uh, it also helps uh, with a little bit of spin and you also get side spin. For, so if a right-handed golfer is doing it, uh, you're gonna get some side spin uh, going through there because of how that club face interacts with the ball. Now here you can see that I drew a line in the sand. Uh, that's sort of like an alignment stick, but just in the sand. And uh, it just shows how open my stance is. Um, it's much easier to hit a high ball flight with these, um, with an open stance, open face, and just kind of splashing through the ball. Now, this is a shot that I've always been able to play decently. Uh, it's probably my go-to shot, uh, is the open stance across, uh, swinging across the body. Um, I don't know why some people have a lot of trouble with the splash shot, but I do not. Um, here's another look at the splash shot uh, where I just draw that line a little bit. So if you're catching a ton of sand uh, behind the ball, then you're not going to get a ton of spin, so you kind of have to pick it. So that ball was a little bit chunked, um, so I'm guessing there wasn't a ton of spin on it, nor did the ball probably get too high in the air. Um, this one was also just a little bit behind that line, but also um, likely fine. Um, the margin of error on a splash shot, unless you thin the ball horribly, if you chunk it, it will go shorter. That one actually looks pretty nice. If you chunk it, it will go shorter, but you're also gonna reduce the spin. So um, it's kind of a, you know, the margin of error isn't, isn't bad there. So now I'm gonna work on a non-splash shot, which is much harder for me, and I'll explain why. So the reason that these chunk and run shots are harder for me is because with a splash shot, you swing across your body, and with a chunk and run like I'm showing right now, you don't. It's a, it's a very different motion through impact. So this ball is a little bit further back on my stance. Um, I like to swing across the ball because I'm a natural fader of the golf ball. There I am just working on the impact position, but I naturally fade the ball, so I naturally swing across the ball. So this motion isn't nearly as natural for me. Uh, the goal of the chunk and run is to hit a little bit of a lower trajectory and just kind of kill the spin so the ball will roll out. Uh, this is a very good shot to hit when you have a ton of green to work with. Um, so here I'm going to draw the line down again. And why this is so much, why this is a good decision when you have a lot of green to work with is if you hit a splash shot, then you have to carry that ball all the way to the hole. And if you have an open face, if you have um, an open stance, you really, really need to swing that club almost as, as fast as I would swing like a normal seven iron. So the chunk and run is a much, uh, it's a much easier, it's, it's a much easier shot to go with. So I'm just working on hey, keeping those hands forward through impact making sure I swing a little bit down in through the ball and just getting that low trajectory without any spins. So that's what I'm working on right now in my bunker game. So that's just a quick breakdown of everything that I'm working on in my greenside bunker game. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please like the video that shows the YouTube algorithm that you are enjoying this content. You can also subscribe to this channel. We're posting a few times a week. So if you're looking to improve your golf this season, this channel is a great place to be, so I appreciate all of you watching. Uh, you can contact me through the YouTube comments, the, my email, scratchcoughtips at mail.com, or any other SGT platforms. Thank you for watching. Play well, and take care.